Well, build log part 7. Following on from the last video, I'm using a different keypad just to uh, for testing, and I'll use the one that I showed in the last video when I finally assemble the case together. Uh, but I have made the keypad and written some basic software to send out characters, and here you can see the numbers on the screen uh, coming from the keypad serially, but uh, they just don't happen to be the right characters that will make the unit do anything yet. Uh, but as far as communication goes, that's working fine. This will be the only time you see the receiver board, just a 7404 inverter and the receiver module. Uh, and that's the back of the main board. And all masked up, ready to paint. I went to a lot more trouble writing an iOS app to describe my latest acrylic shape to hold these struts. And you'll see them slide into place right there. Furthermore, I continued to build a top-down two-dimensional view of the uh, coil, uh, including the primary and secondary. Uh, so here we have the primary, the 4mm tube, the disc underneath, and the secondary in the middle. And I thought I might as well complete that with the 100mm torus. I've got a 150mm as well, um, but that just covers everything. Looks nothing like the real view, of course. Not too bad, I was uh, a little impatient and tightened the screws down too early and wrinkled the paint around the washers, but um, it's still good. Not as, quite as good as this one. Um, it's been sitting for a week, but the effect is still there. And uh, tungsten spark caps, these are the copper terminals that they came in, but I've decided to use brass couplers. Uh, the tungsten's measured in an imperial diameter, so I have to wait for 7mm couplers to arrive now. In a previous video I encapsulated the spark gap in some PVC so I could effectively make more noise. Uh, the terminal quickly corroded, I think there's uh, ozone and nitric acid vapour uh, corroding it quickly and the nickel plated screw hardware doesn't look new anymore. So I've got 4.5mm borosilicate glass, 8.2cm diameter, I'm going to try and have a look and see if uh, it can be seen what's happening. Uh, so it's just a basic ZVS driver and flyback setup, so this will be a, a hot arc, high frequency and uh, you can see eventually it burns the PVC and then a little later little tiny bits of that PVC start flying around everywhere. And that little click wasn't the glass uh, breaking from thermal shock, it uh, might be a little sonic boom in there just once. Uh, it happens whenever I touched the alligator clip to the battery and started up. I'm still really none the wiser about what happened before, maybe all the gunk in the PVC beforehand was just burning PVC floating around everywhere. Uh, maybe it happens anyway. Uh, but what it does appear is that the uh, spark fails to start up uh, after a certain amount of time so I guess the air changes enough so it ruins uh, the spark gap if you had it tuned. This was sealed fairly well but uh, I didn't want it airtight because I didn't want it to uh, explode from pressure from the uh, heat expanding the air inside. A cute little 50mm toroid that arrived today. Um, so that's three I've got now. There's a set uh, with a larger one and then a ball that goes on top. I've got a few things propped up here so you can see them and we'll have to pretend I've got three relays even though I've only got two. Uh, the LEDs are on the relays uh, and I've got some key commands actually working. So the hash key uh, will cycle through the power levels if you press it on its own. The star key will always turn the power off. Um, and then I've got a few combinations to adjust speed and uh, menu um, which I'm kind of using the keypad as a, a joystick direction uh, sort of an interface although any of the numeric keys require the enter key to be pressed at the moment. Okay so hopefully by part 8 I've actually got something together. still have this working on a desk but a, uh, an assembled transformer and uh, hopefully something to play with. I'm trying to keep this current so that people could vicariously uh, build a Tesla coil through me.